Hello everybody, welcome to this video covering what is new and advanced features for Aviva Edge 2020 R2. My name is Scott Quartier, I'm the product manager for Aviva Edge, and I'll be your host today. For Aviva Edge 2020 R2, uh, we are building on the success of the 2020 release of Aviva Edge. Now in this release, we've had several really nice uh, enhancements, uh, notably for industrial graphics, mobile access, and the IoT view. I'm going to cover the industrial graphics enhancements. We've added style management support. So if I flip over to the development here, uh, here you'll see that uh, if you have an industrial graphics screen, now you have the ability to edit styles and maintain those styles, manage those styles, as well as uh, import and export those libraries uh, uh, so that you can transport those to other products within the Aviva portfolio. Also in this, we've added a tag browser that will allow you to browse from the industrial graphics environment to edge tags and uh, allowing you to get at not only the tag, but arrays and classes as well. There's also the ability to export your industrial graphic symbols. Uh, in 2020, we added importing, and now in, in 2020 R2, we have the exporting. So this makes the uh, circle complete, if you will, allowing you to create graphics in Edge and export those and uh, transport those to, uh, whether it's in touch, system platform, uh, SciTech or or even in the cloud eventually um, uh, that that uh, export allows for that. We've added some additional support for uh, edge arrays, edge tag arrays, and uh, support for uh, uh, improve the support for show graphic and show symbol. Those uh, only used to work for uh, uh, screens, and now they work for individual uh, uh, symbols as well. For mobile access, we've added support for indirect tags in the trends so now you can add uh, uh, have the flexibility to be able to change the the tags or the pens uh, on the trend during runtime so that adds just that that uh, very complete flexibility on the trends uh, being able to change those uh, during runtime we've also given the ability to use tags to change the duration and the start time on the trends uh, so that, uh, again, gives you that flexibility to, to allow you to view the data that you want to view when you want to view it. We've also added a few performance uh, improvements and enhancements on some of the built-in scripting functions when using mobile access. For example, the open uh, built-in scripting function can now be used with the position parameters. And uh, there's also uh, a, a way that you can... Um, uh, just specify those parameters and it will automatically open up the new screen at the cursor location. So wherever you've touched uh, or clicked, um, uh, that's really nice, especially when you've got a, uh, a larger screen or a, an environment where it's going to be nice for the operator to be able to have that pop-up screen right where they're looking currently. Uh, also for database functions, built-in scripting database functions now have improved performance when being used in mobile access, as well as uh, we've added some of the file functions built in, so now you can use those uh, with mobile access as well. The IoT View enhancements, for those of you who don't know, IoT View is uh, our Linux-based runtime. We've added just, uh, just stability and improvements uh, in performance. We've added support for the proprietary text files for trends. So here you can see a screenshot. You have those history files uh, that are uh, now logged, able to be logged in um, uh, Linux as well. And for both alarms and events, we've added uh, the ability to log to the proprietary text files as well as going to SQL databases. So here's a, another screenshot. You can see those alarms and events being logged uh, within the local project. Uh, also added some additional tag properties to IoT View. These were previously available only in Windows. And now you have tag properties for the alarm limits. And, and some of these are read and write, so you can change those limits uh, on those tags during runtime as well as get at status for acknowledge and, and unacknowledge uh, uh, as well. Uh, moving on to some more enhancements in IoT View. You can now set the startup tag values for the min, the max, the startup values, description properties, as well as indirect tag support throughout the uh, IoT View runtime. 
We've added scheduler. For those of you who don't know, the scheduler will allow you to trigger uh, based on three different types of events, whether it's change, clock, or calendar. And then that will allow you to use the built-in scripting functions, uh, essentially evaluate those and then write to a tag. So that's very, very flexible and gives you uh, another nice uh, interface for the built-in scripting language. In addition, we've we've enhanced some drivers to be available on IoT View, the TI500 Limit Linux uh, driver support, as well as MQTT with Spark Plug B support has now been added on Linux. We've also added support for an Emerson Rock uh, uh, controller, and uh, that will now be available on uh, Linux and Windows, and that'll be released slightly after um, uh, the R2 release. Uh, look for that uh, available soon. So uh, one more thing that we've added is a nice usability improvement, being able to archive your project, uh, just a single click here to get it to a zip file. And that uh, works as not only a general archive, but uh, also with the edge management uh, deployment of the product through the Flex subscription interface. Uh, and then uh, last but not least, where do you get this if you want it? Uh, you can go to the Aviva Edge website. You can just Google Aviva Edge, uh, or you can go to this link here, and uh, that will uh, allow you to get to a live demo. You can download the evaluation version, which is really the real version once it gets licensed. Uh, it's it's a full version allowing you to save your great projects, save your projects, communicate with PLCs, etc. It's a 40-hour development environment uh, uh, environment run time. Uh, sorry, development and a two-hour runtime. Uh, so, so download that today. We um, uh, look forward to uh, hearing from you. Uh, as well as on that site, you can also find case studies. Uh, a little bit farther down on the site, you can click on Learn More uh, to get to additional resources such as the data sheet, the brochures, and different videos for how to troubleshoot uh, drivers uh, and some other uh, really nice videos that we have there. So thank you for your time today. Please download Aviva Edge 2020 R2 and give it a try. Contact your local Aviva distributor for more information and click on like. If you uh, like the information in this video, please consider subscribing now to the uh, channel and comment if you have any questions or uh, things that you would like to know more about. Other than that, have a great day. Thanks.